Greetings everyone, Sluzen466 here, and in today's video we are playing what I believe is the best Rena quest mage in the wild meta. Um, I took this list from 280 legend to 44, and then I lost a bunch of games, but that's okay, it happens. But um, in this video I'm going to be talking through all the plays with as much detail as possible. So up against a mage, we assume it's a secret mage, we're going to keep the quest, we don't want to keep either of these. We want to keep things like Book of Spectres, Mad Scientist, Licensed Adventurer, Questing Explorer, Zephyrus, things like that. And for those of you, of you who are unfamiliar with how this deck works, this deck is designed to draw relatively fast through your deck to get as many spells played as possible that you randomly generate, get your quest completed, and then you play the Archmage Vargoth, you play the Time Warp which you get from your quest, and you get to have three turns in a row, which is pretty overpowered. And so to help you with those three turn OTKs, you've got you've got giants, you've got Dragon Queen Alexstrasza, you've got regular Alexstrasza, um, just lots of tools to help get the job done. So so right now my goal is to get my quest done. And so because of that, I'm gonna play the buffoon. Just like we hope it lives, and then we put some bananas on this guy. The Zola, we typically save the Zola for the Giants, or if we're really desperate, we might use it on a Kazakus or a Zeph or a Reno. But usually, um, getting a Giant and a Zola to get another free Giant is very, very powerful. Okay, so in this situation, I didn't think I want to use the coin to test for the counter spell because the coin counts towards the quest anyway and I might want to coin something out later so I'm actually going to use the bananas to test. So it's not counter spell. I know this looks weird but I want to get the quest done so I do an inefficient trade. And now we know that that secret is going to be explosive runes, flame ward, uh, ice block, maybe potion or polymorph. Okay, another secret. I'm late. I'm late. Okay, there's a doomsayer. That's not bad. So we haven't tested for explosive runes yet. Hmm. I don't really want to throw away my Emperor into a runes, so if this is a runes, it's unfortunate. It's not a runes, okay. And we actually ping the 5-5, five five just because that Doomsayer might clear, we might randomly generate a Flame Strike somehow. Um, it's just, we're, we're not going for Race the Face, we're just going for staying alive. And the fact that it's turn five against a secret mage and they've done no damage to our face is a pretty big deal. Excuse me, you are on fire. Okay, so our opponent found the clear. So that that loon has gotta go. And here's a fun fact. So we just top deck Malagos. Now this this deck does have a light dragon package and with the Malagos I want to get a polymorph. And I did some math with my teammate EK designer or, or EK played cards, and there's a 38% chance I will get what I want. I didn't get what I want, so now we gotta think. There's a, probably a counter spell up there. I think I want to play the Frostbolt. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. So it costs zero. I'm going to coin because of Counterspell. Not Counterspell, so now we happily clear the Leon. Duplicate is fine. Now coming up into turn seven, I am tempted to Zoller my Malagos. Because I am running out of steam. Oh. Oh, show. Oh, show. Oh, show. 
Okay, so I've kind of got one card. The going face makes sense. There's my scientist. There is a 50 50 that it's going to pull my ice block. I think I want to go with. Hmm. Maybe we scientist. I think we scientist and we Zola the Malagos. Just to be safe. Uh, we'll trade last. So we're gonna go scientist. Zola. And then I'm actually going to get rid of the two three. I don't want to give my opponent a secret from their deck. So coming into turn 8, it's probably going to be Malagos again. This time I am probably looking for a Frost Nova effect. That's going to cause us some problems though because of Counterspell. My okay, opponent is continuing to the face. We top deck an Arcane Breath which is actually really really nice so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna aim for this one because of duplicate that's okay then we play our Malagos now my quest is at four I believe it's correct to take the tome because we want to get our quest done ASAP so we're going to take Tome. That's okay. Okay, so Tome is taken. We're going to see what we get. Okay, so uh, next turn, we do finish our quest. Wish I got a one mana spell there. So now we need to pop our Scientist. So we don't want to get killed, so we're going to go there. What do we get? Ice block, nice. Go there. And there. Again, I don't, want to, I don't want to give my opponent free stuff out of the deck. I want to see them make the trade to get that free secret. That ice block should buy us a turn. Okay. The nice thing here is we can do the counter spell test and there's no more counter spells, which is great news. Okay. Rolling fireball. Okay. So, step one is to do the counter spell test. We're at five. Always check your hand size. What would we like to get? Oh my goodness. Oh, it doesn't work that way. Um, I was thinking multiple Vargas, but that wouldn't work. Uh, I think I want to mill. I think I'd rather this get counter spelled. Okay. Not counter spell. So the quest is done, so why don't we play a rolling fireball and clear both of these two fours? Because they are a little bit scary. Are they scary? You know what? Let's let's, let's watch our opponent mill themselves to death. That could be funny. And I did aim at the wrong minion then, did I? I mean, one of the Lunas could have been a 2-3. Maybe somehow our opponent like pings their own Luna. So I think we did the right play there. Now, what would be upsetting is if that is a runes. Because then the runes would uh, Excuse kill our Vargoth. But we, we don't have a choice. Well, he didn't... Our opponent is... Okay, our opponent's going to pop the block. Therefore, we do the Vargoth. 
And we really hope there's not a rooms. We have no way to properly test here. Okay. Don't be a runes. Free of that blasted tower. Oh my god. Oh, but counter spell. It's not counter spell. Okay. Behold. So, okay, we get two turns to find lethal. There's Alex Straza. That's pretty good. So I think we're gonna play... I wanna play this Alex Straza first, and then I'm gonna Alex Straza my own face, I believe. Life and hope of the now, little technical uh, problem. I, sh I should I should have hit face then. I should have gone ping. However, I'm I'm actually concerned about uh. You know what, I'm actually going to trade, so it doesn't matter. Okay, let's play this guy. Deathwing's unfortunate. Okay, turn number three. Now, Book of Spectres could give us Reno, but I think it is going to be safer to Alex Strasser, our own face. I bring And then we're just going to clean up this board. I'd rather him... Uh, there's no more duplicates. So we're just going to go ahead and do some trades. Okay. So opponent has played one fireball. No cloud princes. That's one thing to keep in mind. Looks like, looks like they're going for the defensive play, which we're okay with. Wow, okay. Makes sense, because they duplicate. Do they have a secret? Maybe they don't. There it is. What a fair card. Good old Black Mage. Okay, so let's do some math. If I play... Okay, so first of all, there's a counter spell. So step one is to test the counter spell. And we will do that with this. Okay, now, let's do some math. Okay, we, I want to play Book of Spectres. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight minions in my deck. And I'm kind of digging for Reno here. So let's just get lucky. the giant it's okay okay so this is for ex actually no yeah this is for explosive runes okay this is for to get another book of specters Oh, I see. That's fine. It was worth the gamble to get the Book of Spectres for the Reno. So now we're dead to double fireball. An incredible discovery. Add a secret. Okay, more secrets. We haven't got Zeph yet. Zeph and the Flare would be lovely. I'll show them. I'll show them all. There's our boy. Hello, friend. Okay, so let's go ahead and freeze that. Uh, counter spell though. So let's just test with this. Okay, we'll freeze there. 
freeze here. It's got no secrets left. Okay, uh, missed, it, missed up the mana. Now we should be fine. Little technical disaster there. Okay, little little mana glitch there. Unless there's like a double fireball. Yeah, no, we're fine. We're fine. We made we made a boo boo, and we don't get punished. Okay, this is for the runes. At this point, just go face. So our opponent is three cards left. There is an Alaneth, a Cabal Lucky. Yeah, they just can't win. So even though I made a little technical blunder there, didn't get punished. GG. Okay, so we've queued into a Paladin. Deep, deep in the dumpster. Um, when they're this low, they literally could be anything. Just in case it's mech, I'm gonna throw away the quest. Typically, you throw away the quest against paladins and warriors. The Galakrond and the pirate warriors will make you very upset. Okay. So, Doomsday is nice, Polymorph's nice. Surprisingly, um, Reno is not that good against a mech paladin. Usually when you play the Reno on six, they just kill you anyway, so. I hope you like my invention. Oh boy. We have a memer. So this is most likely Exodia Paladin, which means we need to get our quest done as fast as possible. But we have the issue where we mulligan the way our quest. However, that is in Mustard for Battle. Which is interesting. There was a list floating around online of a dude paladin. I didn't look at it very carefully. Maybe this is that list. Interesting. There's a mana giant. I'm gonna go ahead here and Kazakus into a five. Now, with this deck, you actually want to aim to get the draw cards with your Kazakus potions, especially since I am desperate for my quest. So we got the draw and the board clear, which is nice. But you'd actually find with this list, quite often you just go for the one mana spell. Wow. Okay. Interesting. Well, we don't we don't normally do three games in these videos, but uh, that last one is kind of short. Okay, we can do a priest. Um, priest in this meta could be anything, but we'll keep the quest. We don't want ice block. We don't want Reno. Uh, the Book of Spectres is really nice. It's perfectly fine just to slam it on turn two. Because in this matchup, we want to have the Vargoth as quick as possible so that we can basically have our quest done and play Vargoth quest on turn nine. That's that's our, that's our best um, scenario win. Oh my goodness, it's a quest priest. Okay, License Adventurer, new card from Galakron's Awakening. However, I'd rather play Book of Spectres. Yes. 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 There we go. Now, you won't always get this lucky, getting three minions, but this deck is kind of minion heavy. So my opponent might be like some sort of Togwaggle Priest, 
There's some weird quest priest which I haven't had a good look at, which has been floating around, so we'll, we'll see what happens here. You can count on me! I'm certified! Certified? I'm gonna, um... I'm gonna coin Doomsayer. I just, I want to slow my opponent down, and I want to get my quest done. I'm going to play Kazakus into a one mana potion next turn, I think. I think so, but the thing is, I, I do also, I also want to play Malagos on five. So, if I want to play Malagos on five, I actually want to play Kazakus into a five mana potion. Okay. Okay, here we go. At last, a disciple. Um, I'll take the board clear and I'll summon some random guys. Because I might I might Zola them back to my hand. If I get a Zola. So this, this is not terrible. Yeah, so next turn we're just gonna slam down Malagos. Fun fact by the way with Malagos, um, if you play Malagos on turn 6, um, EK and I did some math and it's, it's almost 100% that if you play Malagos on 6, you are, have a playable spell, which is kind of nice. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and go like that. Malagos. And I'm going to go for the cheapest one because, again, I'm trying to get my quest done. Quest is only at one, so we're trying to get it done very, very quick. Of course, it's the right way. Okay. Of course, it's the right way. Very well. Oh, banana buffoon's really nice here. Okay, so let's go with banana buffoon. So be it. This is better math. That should that should clear. Okay. So now, quest is two off. Uh, we have one, we have the Kazakas potion for our fifth spell. We are lacking the sixth spell. So, hopefully we'll get something soon. That's okay. We have so, opponent has done their quest. D do we really care though? I don't think so. It's not really a problem. Okay, so quest is done. Well, almost done. Oh. Yes. Yes. Oh my goodness. Yada, if you're watching this video, that was for you, man. Okay, so let's go here. here okay things just got a little juicy over here opposed at 12 I'm at 17 blizzard okay so I gotta get my quest done. So be it. Oh, 
Now, based on our board, we might actually not need the Vargoth. Right now, we've got uh, 4, 6, 9, 17, 25 damage. So we actually, if our opponent doesn't deal with this board at all, we have lethal next turn. And that's exciting. What must I do? Oh. Light bomb? Asteria. Okay, okay. I respect that play. That's pretty good. So at a 4-4 four, four, though. Oh, we win. Free of that blasted tower! Now we just do some bad manners. Oh. We must stop this corruption. Sure. GG. But yeah, if you want to try out this deck, it is a blast. I'm my goal this my goal for the end of January is to get a top 25 finish. I think I can do it. But if you want to try this deck out, you find the code in the description below. Thank you so much for watching to the end of this video. If you want to support this channel, you can click that subscribe button, click that bell. And until next time, hope to see you again.